the ability to take our customers' feedback yeah. has always been a, a big sort of um, part of our business is yeah. listening to our end user, our customer. Yeah, for sure. And then having that ability to have the, the manufacturer uh, work with us to help overcome some, some challenges or issues yeah. and uh, come up with solutions has been really, really good. Welcome everybody to the Serif Machinery podcast today. Uh, we are very lucky to have two of our Brazilian guests uh, representing two different companies that uh, we are importing for and we are the proud importer uh, in Australia for. Uh, we have William from Balden and we have Fernando from Agrimec. Uh, Balden is a product that we've been bringing in for a, for a number of years. I think we started in 2005. Yeah. Uh, so that we've had a long association with Balden and we're quite uh, well known across Australia uh, with the Balden product. Agrimec is a new new player to the game uh, in Australia, but we're very excited to uh, learn a bit more about Agrimec. Thank you for, for your time, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Rodney, to, to be to give us this opportunity. Not a problem. Uh, so just so everybody knows, uh, gentlemen, they speak uh, very, very good uh, Portuguese. Yeah. They're English. Uh, we will be working on good, good. <laughs> as their time. Um, yeah. And it's it's one of those things that we've uh, learned to, to work through. Uh, William will be probably a bit more of a uh, translator for us today. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Um, so two different companies, user here, yeah. uh, visiting Australia for the second time now. Yeah. Uh, last time, last year was about the same time. You got to uh, do the Hitty Field Days, which yeah. uh, you're going to be going uh, for the next couple of days. That's coming up. Yeah. Uh, so by the time the podcast comes out, yeah. Anti would have been gone. Okay. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, that's we're talking about um, being here, understanding Australia yeah. and, and, and our product and, and our customers' needs. Um, William, how many times have you been to Australia? Yeah, for now is my fourth time. Fourth time. Yeah, yeah. fourth time. Um, the first time we came to uh, Ajakip. Yeah, Ajakip. Yeah, Ajakip yep. yeah. in Canada, and the, we visited. The, it's the first time that we touch the the real market of Australia. Yeah. And also we see the difference machines between Brazil and the Australia also. But as you told me, uh, Baldan work with a long time with Seraphim Machineries. Um, I, I'm in charge about the Seraphim Machineries more than five years now. That's right. But the, I'm in Baldan for 10 years uh, right now. And the, Congratulations. And the, um, as a sales manager area. Yep. Yeah. And the, um, we learn a lot uh, with you guys here. There is a lot, yeah. Yeah. And it's been very good, the, the relationship that we've had with uh, with Bolden. We've uh, worked on a lot of big projects together uh, yeah. for uh, some changes and improvements to the product to yeah. suit our, our customers' uh, needs. And that's been a big uh, a big, big sort of uh, bonus that we've had as a good supplier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Having you guys be able to work with us, perfect example is the GCRTI uh, mm. Super. Yeah, and the Super in the... Many of the, the changes that we did in, in the factory is um, indicated by, by Seraphim uh, yep. for the long time that we have the relationship. But anyway, um, Seraphim uh, also indicate us what we, we can improve, what we can change. And this exchange experience uh, increase a lot of the quality of the, the CRSG. Uh, as well, yeah, and CRI. Yeah, These super. are all products. There's lots, yeah. of, lots of different products that we've had, we've seen improvements on over the years. The ability to take our customers' feedback, yeah, has always been a, a big sort of um, part of our business. Is yeah. listening to our end user, our customer, yeah, for sure, and then having that ability to have the the manufacturer uh, work with us to help overcome some some challenges or issues. Yeah. And uh, come up with solutions has been really, really good. So, mm. thank you. Yeah, that's been, that's thank, been very thank good. Thank you, thank you very much for this opportunity. Also, and the, um, to listen to you is very important for Baldan. Uh, along the time that we Baldan export for for Seraphim, and the, you are the distributor us here, represent Baldan here in, in Australia, and the, with this partnership. 
we increase a lot our quality also in the factory we bring all the the informations that you yep. send it to us and we implement these uh, these uh, improvements in the factory and the, of course we, we 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 are not perfect but we try to increase a lot of our, our quality also absolutely yeah absolutely and that goes worldwide the the products that you you're exporting yeah you're not just improving for brazil but you're and not just proving uh, improving for australia you're proving for, for the world for yep. the world one yeah for sure okay just so uh, people that, out there that may not be aware of bolden can you yeah. give us a bit of the history of Bolden? Because you've Bolden. been, it's nearly yeah. 100 years you've been in. Okay, in yeah, Italy. that's very good. Uh, as the same like uh, Serafin is an uh, Italian family, Bolden is Italian name. Bolden is uh, in the north, beginning in the north of the the Italy, Italy, and the move to Brazil in the Second War, and the, the it start with the five brothers. Um, set uh, Baldan brothers, and uh, with these guys, um, they start in 19, 1926, 1928, sorry, yep. 1928, and they they begin with the factory of discs. The first factory of the disc in, in, in Brazil, Brazil was Baldan, yep. and the, after they move for the implements and they increase a lot of. Today we we are located in inside of the São Paulo estate, uh, 300 kilometers from São Paulo capital. Yep. And uh, we 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 have uh, three factories now. The main factory, the big one, um, which we produce uh, all the implements. Yep. Now we have another factory for bearings. Right. Yeah, only the bearings yep. uh, to manufacture big... this. And the, another factory now we're going to launch uh, next uh, month, uh, the factory of the sprayers, the boom sprayers, uh, sound propellant sprayers, and the and it is. We we want to we want to uh, to listen more and to increase also these uh, boom sprayers. To maybe to have opportunity to sell here or so, but uh, of course we need to to adapt the for Australian uh, way yep. to to mono Excellent. for this prayer. So that's a bit of a scoop. Is that you've you've got the new factory being launched? Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, Excellent. very good for us because this uh, uh, have a hundred thousand square meters, hundred thirty thousand square meters, wow. and it can can. Uh, more or less is a sixty thousand uh, building, and it can increase more seventy thousand. You've like got this, the capacity uh, to grow. Capacity yeah. of to grow it. Yep. Yeah. So over the the period of time, how big has Baldwin grown in regards to how many how many employees would you have? Yeah, we have uh, two thousand employers. Wow. Two thousand employers, and uh, we we export for eight thousand countries. Okay. Eight thousand countries now. Sorry, yep. uh, eight countries. Yep. Eight countries. We export for eight countries, and the uh, for our relationship with these dealers is more or less minimum is uh, twenty to thirty years. Yep. Keeping export, keeping relationships, and we we uh, we get value with this um, keeping the same dealers for a long time. And it increased the relationship during the the couple of years that we begin be behind there. Yep. So we have, for example, dealers in Africa, dealers in Asia, dealers in Australia here, in all Latin America, U.S., yep. Canada, and the also um, Europe, especially in Portugal. Is that? Yep. Very yeah. big. Yeah. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's that's a very big operation that you've got uh, there. Yeah. Um. So you mentioned some of the products before. So your discs and and bearings, the yeah. the bearing system, uh, the the oil bath bearing is something that we've been promoting for a, for a long time here in Australia, and we're yeah. very very passionate about that. It's a very good product. Yeah. Um. Are there any new products that you're working on that you can tell us about? Yeah, uh, we, we're going to doing the offset with uh, H H to up 
to 170 offset uh, leveling disk. Yep. I'll say offset different from uh, GCRTI, yep. GCRTIS Super, no? Yep. Uh, that is um, cross. That's is, what, uh, the tending, the tending, yep. the tending system. And the offset is uh, is for us, we have up to 72 disk yep. today, but we want to increase this quantity. We're going to work with uh, new products uh, like a um, um, box for transfer um, a transfer box of the seeds, but uh, also you still need to work for export yep. because to put in container, to move is a little bit difficult, but uh, we work on this. And also the sprayers. Uh, we have the 2,000 liter and a half. Yep. Uh, 3,000 also. We're going to release to 3,000 and a half and the 4,000 also yep. uh, for blue sprayers, yep. uh, self propylene But just begin. We, we're going to arrive for Australia one 7,000 liters or 6,000 liters. So Excellent. this will be will be good also. Very good. So very soon, good. soon. Very exciting. Yeah. It's good to see uh, companies while they're, they're bringing out new products and looking at different markets and, yeah. and things like that because that was where um, Agrimec sort of come into the picture for us as well. Yeah. Is that we're always looking at, you know, for the Australian market, what else can we supply or, or what other service can we offer our customers? And, uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to, to meet Fernando last year when you would you come and did your product uh, presentation for us. And uh, got to got to meet uh, Agrimec, which Agri is uh, yeah. very good. So the relationship yeah. between Agrimec and Bolden? Yeah, is uh, we 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 have a Bolden have a, almost a uh, hundred years uh, in two thousand twenty in two thousand twenty eight. Yep, we're going to complete hundred years, but Agrimec have a fifty years. Yep. So, and the, we are together in many many um, sh uh, show Agri show. Yep. Uh, agriculture uh, fair, so um, we we have a relationship between the owners because the owners also is uh, Italian families uh, and the, the same area of Brazil. All the the shows yep. we are together, and now we have some projects together also in Africa Excellent. for more food security. Yep. And the, this this uh, project is um, wow. is is. Um, Ex exige um, oh sorry this food security um we are presentation project together to avoid um, uh, food security risk yep yeah and uh, increase the production of the 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 maize or production of the cultures in, in each country yep yeah uh, but depending of the the country that need more more product, more food, and they have a lot of uh, uh, problems of the food security. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So with the with those pro with the with the problems that they're facing, is it they've got plenty of land, but they just haven't got the technology to be able to uh, grow that that food more sustainably? Yeah. Some something like like this, but for example, um, Nigeria. For example, we, we talk about is they have a lot of land. Yep. And the the problem is they they don't know how to use the mechanization. Yes. Yeah. So they they think that the mechanization need to adapt then, but no, you need to adapt. <laughs> the, the farmers need systems. to adapt the, the system, the mechanization to increase the yep. the food. And the another thing is the old-fashioned way to mono, to produce food yep. or to farming yep. like this, and they think that they need to always to put two hundred kilos of fertilizer always without analysis of the soil, without analysis of the 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 way that the the management of the farmer. Yep. So uh we we want to change this of then and to put the right machine in the right place yep. to right seeds in the right depth and to analyze the soil to put the right quantity of the fertilizer in the right place also in the right soil yep yeah so it's more of a it's not so much just a sales um no. job it's yeah. a, it's a whole system of whole system yeah excellent sure excellent um i don't know whether there's too many other companies that would be doing that 
Sorry. I don't think there'd be too many other companies that would be uh, pro- like actually attacking, you know, the, the food pro- problem. Like yeah, that. food problem. Yeah, for sure. Because, uh, for example, we, if you talk about the project um, for whole whole project, it's just not to, to sell machines that you told me, uh, but to, to looking after. Uh, the the why they don't produce the same because you know Brazil and this Africa is just being cutting yeah yeah separated by ocean yep. Atlantic Ocean but it's the same soil yep. I have been in Africa I have been in Brazil in many places and the soil is very similar yep and the, what happening why they don't produce the same quantity twelve tons or 11 tons of maize in, in Africa, and the Brazil produce this. Yep. Is, is the management of the farmers, the farm. is the, how the way they put the, the seeds in the soil, yep. and the quality of the seeds to produce the right seeds for the right soil or so. But it, anyway, it's, it's completely a package. That's, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Good. And Agri makes a part of that. Okay. We haven't forgot about you, Fernando. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no. You've been very patient. No um, okay. Would you like to explain to us a little bit about AgriMec and, okay. and the history of uh, AgriMec? Okay. Firstly, thank you to meet you again. No, my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, my name is Fernando Abreu. I'm export manager at AgriMec company. Yep. AgriMec is a family company like Baudin. Uh, AgriMec has uh, 50 years uh, experience in Brazilian market in more than 35 countries. That's excellent. Exactly. Uh, 39 countries, included Australia, Australia now. Australia now, that's yeah. it. We've got our first uh, shipment due very, very soon. We're waiting. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Agrimec manuf- uh, manufacturing agricultural equipment for many crops like soybeans, rice, yep. cotton, sugarcane. Yep. And uh, I hope it uh, uh, help uh, you and, and for develop, uh, development uh, agriculture in Australia. Uh, we uh, our company today have uh, about uh, 500 employees. Yep. And today Agrimec is a group. Agrimec group with four four companies. Four companies. different companies. Okay. Yes. Yep. Very good. What part of Brazil is Agrimec based? Uh, we stay in south of Brazil, uh, close to Argentina, Uruguay. Yep. Yeah. And what sort of uh, farming is done in that that region where you are? What sort of agriculture? In south of Brazil, we have a lot of rice. A lot of rice. Uh, about seventy percent of the production of Brazil stay in our state. Yep. In south of Brazil. Neat. So you uh, will have some uh, new products that we can be looking at for for our rice market then in Australia. Oh, yeah, yeah. We started with the Three products uh, in Australia: yep. irrigation pump, yep. a bucket laser, the laser bucket, yep. and laser bucket, yep. and grain box. Yep. Yeah. So with the the grain box uh, product that we're bringing in, um, we've got uh, a, a thing three or four different models. We've got the large thirty five thousand liter, uh, what we would call a, a chaser bin. That's what we would chaser refer to it yeah. in Australia. Uh, but we've also got commodity carts, which is more the the flex with the two different bins and things like that. Um, how long have you been producing those uh, products for, the grain box trailers? Okay. We produce the grain box about uh, 30 years. Really? We start for yep. the rice. Yep. And then soybeans in the, in the corn and the other con- uh, crops. Excellent. So we're, we're very excited to have a, a product with such a long-standing that we can bring into the Australian market because we feel that there is a bit of a, a market there for that type of product. Um, from what we see, it looks fantastic. It looks like a really good, solid, ro- robust product. And that's what we Australians like. We like like Baldwin, very good, strong, um, reliable products. They, the customers want good value for money, but they also want something that is reliable and just works. So, okay. excellent. Ag- Agrimec start uh, manufacture our pro- products for rice fields. And rice field, the products uh, uh, is necessary very strong. Yep. 
very very strong yeah very robust excellent yes and then uh this is is the the principal uh the key of yep. success of agrimac the robust of equipment as well as relationships like ours that we will have yeah yes um, the long term relationship with Baldwin has Baldwin, been yeah, very yeah. good and that was another another key point that you you really promoted was that you want to build a good long term relationship okay. with a with a supplier in Australia, which is good. Okay, thank we you. look forward to it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No, very good. Um your time in Australia, this is your second trip? Yeah, second trip. Yep. Yes. Uh how do you find it? Do you like Australia? Australia is a beautiful country. The agriculture is amazing. Uh, like Brazil. Excellent. Yeah. Would you like to tell me a little about uh, a little bit about the uh, the owner of Agrigate? Yes. Uh, our owner, our owner, Mr. Marion, uh, has eighty two years. Eighty two. And work with us uh, together today. Excellent. Yes. Uh, the our equipment. Your your mind. His the Agrimac. His mind. His mind. Yeah. The our equipment. His mind. Yep. Does, uh, is he still involved in the company? Yes. Really? Yes. Wow. He still work every still day. Still work every still day. Still work every day. Yeah. A lot. I've got a feeling that'll be like Daryl. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like Daryl. Daryl yeah. coming every day yeah. here. They will be here up to 90 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our owner is the Italian man, your family. Yeah, yeah work hard. They yeah. do work Mario. hard. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Good. Um, so when, when your uh, trip from Australia finishes, uh, where to next? Yeah, now we, we're going to Henty Show also, yep. participate of the Henty Show together with Serafin. Excellent. After we're going to Queensland area, we're going around to visit the, the dealers around, off, your dealers around there. Yep. And we finish in the Gold Coast area. That is uh, indicated by Seraphine to don't stay Dennis, a little bit. Don't let Dennis yeah. lead you astray. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but we hope to see uh, many different uh, areas. You will. Because we, yeah. just, knew, uh, we just know as New South Lady, New South, South Lady, Wales, yeah. New South Wales. And now we're going to see Queensland uh, State. So it will be good. Because uh, your last trip, you did uh, Gippsland and, and Tasmania. No, we didn't go to Tasmania. Uh, no, we didn't Gippsland. go there yet. Yep. We didn't go yet to Tasmania. Yep. We have been just in South, uh, New South and, Wales and, and Victoria, like like um, Victoria. Yeah. Yes, Victoria. Yeah, yep. we have been in Mel Melbourne, yep. also um, um, Canada. Yep, Canada, Canada, so and the uh, yep. other places that have uh, different names. Uh, yeah, it's difficult for us to keep yeah. the names, but uh, we have many places. The, the trip that uh, I think you're planning on doing with Dennis uh, will will show you a, a very big variety of, of farms. You'll see our broadacre, dryland, yeah. wheat, and uh, you know a lot of canola as well on the way. Yeah. Um, you'll also see uh, some vegetable growing um, yeah. around Gatton, which is a, a little place near um, uh Toowoomba, which we've got yeah. some really strong uh, bald and dealers there. Ah, okay, okay, um, good. You'll see cotton. I yeah, okay, you'll see cotton, rice. Yeah. You'll see rice here. Yeah. Uh, you see sugar cane. Sugar um, cane, yeah. Yep, yep. You, prison, you're going yeah. to, to a show at Bundaberg. Bundaberg, you are, yeah. you're going to Bundaberg now? Yeah, yeah. No, you are. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I think I've I'm been going, banned from I'm going, yeah, Bundaberg. Uh, I've been banned yeah. from going to Bundaberg. For sure. Because they make the Bundaberg rum. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm going there. Sure, <laughs> correct. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> and the, uh, also the, for example, I I have been in here is my fourth time. Yep. Uh, the second time that I come in here, you have a problem a lot of rain, and the the in the flat area here in the New South Wales yep. was a lot of uh, flooding. There was uh, sorry, flooding. And the, now you 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 face some change of the climate also. That in Brazil also we did, we happen the same. Now we have a, we have a very dry season. Yep. Very dry season, and the, sometimes we feel the degrees drop a lot. So minus zero, minus two in the south of Brazil also minus five. You get 
Mm. Five, five, or yeah. something like this, and this is um, uh, bring bring problems to the farmers to after to harvest mm. or to have a good crop uh, okay. for harvesting. Yeah, I don't know if you face the same here. Also. Always, yeah. Every every year, there's always something that's a bit of a challenge. Yeah, which I'm sure that you would be aware of. Um, recently, Baldwin, uh, Brazil itself had very big rains. Yeah, big floods in the towards the south, or was it more in the south? In yeah, the big south, south right? especially in the in this uh, near to the Agrimac farm, Agrimac yep. factory. Yep, they have a, a big face problem of the floating mm. of, of the water. Of the floods. Yeah, yeah, floods. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we uh we we've been looking at the, your irrigation pumps. For, for that reason is that as uh, we come into uh, times like that, there is uh, sometimes that people uh, need emergency flooding, uh, emergency pumps. Uh, in the floods uh, in Brazil, the Agrimec product was used uh, for uh, helping with the floods. Yes, we help our airport yes. with seven uh, irrigation pumps. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. They're also very big irrigation pumps. Aren't we? We're not talking about little, little, little irrigation pumps with little, uh, little uh, hoses. We're talking about very big, high yeah. volume. Yeah, the, we start to two hundred million millimeters. Yep. Uh, until uh, five hundred millimeters. Half a meter. Yeah. yeah, I think we've actually got one of those 500 mil yeah. uh, pumps on order. Yeah. So we're looking forward to seeing them. They should be very, very good. Um, so uh, once you've uh, finished your trip in Australia, are you going back home? Yeah, yeah, we're going back home. Uh, as you you know, we we travel a lot, very much, so. and we, uh, <laughs> we stay fifteen days in Brazil, yep. and the after we come back to China. Ah, really? We stay in China for uh, ten days, yep. and the after more five days in Philippines, and the after this trip. I arrive in Brazil on 2nd of November. On the 6th, I'm going to Italy <laughs> to EMA, EMA, EMA show. Yeah, EMA yeah. show. Agriculture fair in Italy. Yeah. So that, that's a question I have for you then. You see a lot of different agricultural shows all across the world. Yeah. Brazil have some fantastic shows. Yeah. And I will get there one day. Uh, I would like to come and visit. Oh yeah. Um, how do you find uh, ones like Henty and and uh, that compared to what's the differences you see as a visitor okay. um, compared to some of the other shows? That's a good question uh, because um, I, we saw here uh, the farmers come to the show and they see analyze the products what you have and the after come back uh, come back to to the farms and the and think about and the after contact you again to buy. Yep. In Brazil we work different. For example, we have the uh, the biggest uh, show is Agri Show in Brazil that we uh, change the way that we bring it from US also or or Europe and also that works the same like here. Yep. And we change a little bit in the way of Brazil. We put some banks inside of the, the the shows, and the banks can release the um, the payment or the the credit for the farmers in the same time that he are in the in the in the show. So they make the decision there to the buy line. or not the machine. Yep. So in this time they ask for the sales guy to make the order. The sales guy give it to the guy in the bank that he is in the show there. The the bank releases the credit or analyzes the credit, give it to the, the sales guy of the, for example, uh Serafin. Serafin is okay, you, you can sell for them because they have a credit. So the guy approved the, the the order. Yep. And from there, maybe if they they buy the machine from the stand. They can deliver it or they can send it from the factory directly to the farm. Yep. So uh, today Brazil is the biggest show that makes the sales volume during the five during days. During the days, yeah. During the five day, during the days of the show. And uh, if you're looking for um, United States or um, um, 
Agritecnica uh, of yep, the Germany, yeah. of Germany. Uh, they they do the show, biggest show also, but they don't do sales volume yep. like Brazil. Brazil doing um, la last year was 23 billion, 23, uh, no, mm -hmm. sorry, um, two or three billions of a US dollar in during five days. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Agri in the show. Agri show, yeah. And the Baldan did it um, 170, uh, 100, 117 uh, millions in, in five days. Yeah. <laughs> In that's five hard days. to hard to fathom the, the numbers, yeah. and that's U.S. dollars too. Yeah, U.S. dollars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's is, good. is uh, Agri Show big for for AgriMec as well? Yes, yes. We, uh, AgriMec par par participate. Yeah. Uh, AgriMec participated at Agri Show a uh, long time, twenty years. Yep. Ago. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, and the uh, AgriMec doing also. Big numbers uh, of the, the show they sell there. Yes, yeah. the 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 our numbers is big, but in Yaga show is the best show yep. for us. We will we will have to come and have a look one day. Yeah, yeah. Seraph and come to Agri show. Eh? Okay. Yeah, we we invite you yeah, hear that, to visit Kevin? us. <laughs> yeah, it's important. <laughs> yes, very good. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. next year. Next year we invite you to visit us. Absolutely. Visit Agri show and then Balda and then. For the south of Brazil in Agrimec. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. That would be good. That's Lock okay. it in. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, is there anything else you want to touch on while you? Yeah, yeah. I I'd like to invite the farmers to to visit this huge area of Serafim machineries. That is amazing. Uh, we vis we coming here the first time was uh, a little bit smaller, but now is um, have two big areas, one area for implements, another area for tractors and the combined harvester yeah. also. So it's a beautiful, beautiful area. You congratulations for you guys Thank you. for the good. job. And the, here you can see the Balda machines, uh, Sun Sun Agrimac machines also. Fernando can can talk about also this. But uh, here you have spare parts after sales, good quality of the after sales. This is what we looking for when when we come into to have a dealer in the country. The first thing that we 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 worry about is you guys have good after sales. Yeah. Seraphine have a good after sales and the good market also and you and they have a good space here that you can see the machines, you can touch the machine and you can buy the machine. So it's important you to visit uh Seraphine machineries here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it, the whole uh, idea of very good uh, after sale support was one of the things that I learnt very very quickly with Daryl was the salesman usually sells the first machine, yeah. but it's the after sales and service team that keep getting that repeat business, and we do a lot of repeat business. This morning we had a customer in. Uh, he was from uh, a little place in Queensland, uh, was down here to buy some spare parts. They needed to rebuild uh, rebuild a, a GTCR30. Oh, okay. They've owned it for 15 years yeah. and they're looking at buying they're looking at buying another. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a repeat business and it's that spare parts driving that in the service. So sure. I think Agrimex is going to have uh, very good support too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am very happy to to have a Seraphim machinery with our official dealer. Uh, I'm looking at opportunity for our equipments in your country, yeah. and I think with you, with a Seraphim machinery, uh, this way is more easy for us. Thank you for the opportunity. My pleasure. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much for Thank your time, you. guys. Thank you. Right Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there you go, guys. Uh, everybody, if you get a chance to, just have a look at their websites as well. Um, so we've got Baldan, uh, Baldan, dot com dot br br for Brazil, the, yeah. And it's the same for Agrimec. Agrimec dot com dot br. Perfect. So yeah. if you get a chance to have a look at those, we've also got both product lines on our our own website as well. Um, so yeah, we're very excited to to see the Agrimec products arrive very soon. Uh, perfect timing with the Grand Box arriving with such a potentially good harvest 
uh, that we were coming up. And uh, Bolden, uh, they've got some new products that we're looking new at as well. Uh, so, you know, yeah. looking, looking forward to it. Uh, we've got a, a workshop full of uh, Boldens at the moment. We've got the GDAB uh, 90 plate just arrived. That's a very nice, big, big, uh, very heavy duty. Heavy duty, yeah. yeah. yeah it is yeah, a very good disc machine. Arrows. Yeah, 12 meter disc arrow. Um, we've got the Movir as well, which is oh, another yeah. product that we worked on together. Moviri with the with the crumble roller, um, it's been a very good good uh, product seller for us, and and it's been a really good product to go between um, a, a big offset or a tandem yeah. and the speed disc, which you see a lot in Australia now. Yeah, uh, it doesn't always fit fit everybody's needs. So again, we worked with Borden to come up with a a yeah. really big heavy leveling disc that could penetrate a bit better, yeah. but with the rear roller to give us a very good finish. Sure, excellent. Sure. You know. Uh, yeah. So thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thank like you. and share. Uh, the more you like the, the podcast, and the more you, you know, share it around, the more it will get out, um, and the more we're going to be able to get out and uh, visit people like this. Uh, we're lucky enough to have them uh, in our showroom today. So thanks very much for your time. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you very cool much. Thank you. Thank you.